Hey guys, it's Cody Games here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we started our journey through the Sinnoh region and got our starter, Luffy the Chimchar. In this episode, we're gonna leave Rowan's lab and pursue bigger and better things. Let's go, and it's evening. Cody! Whoa, 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 sorry sir. I have something here, good here. You should take this as well. Obtain TM27. 27 and the TM the nation. That's the technical machine. That's a tech. This is a technical machine. That one contains the move return. Using a technical machine, or TM for short, teaches a move instantly to a Pokemon. Bear in mind, however, that, that a TM is single use only. The return gains power more than friend the more friendlier. You, of course, if you want to use the TM or not. I'll send you off with that. Your journey will be fun. Oh, wow! I didn't know the professor had TMs. Was he a trainer when he was young? Okay, Cody, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a bit more, I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. This is the building. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. It's a place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon in the most towns. The building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemart. There's a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Cody, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it bother you. Oh, that's right, Cody. Don't you need to tell your family that you're going to... There's around you may need to go far away, so I think you should let someone know. Oh, before you go... Oh, but before you go, you'll leave your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. It'll be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye for now. Dawn makes a very valid point. Okay, now that we have a little more free roam, let's enter the Pokemon Center and I can talk about stuff in here. Alright! We have our first introduction to Pokemon Centers. Talk a bit about Pokemon Centers. There are some NPCs in here to talk to sometimes, of course. Mm, sure, all your Pokemon to full health. Alright, thank you so much. We'll hope to see you again. Alright then, we have a... Here we have a map of the Sinnoh region. As you can see, it's a rather big region, to say the least. Okay, first let's talk about this aspect, upstairs. Now because of how I'm doing this, I can't replay with multiplayer, otherwise I would, but we'll talk about it first, we'll talk about aspects. So here we have the uh, Global Link Center, I believe it is, the Link Center, I think it's what it's called, I don't quite remember, here I'll ask. Welcome to the Pokemon Wireless Club Union Room. So here basically, by using a wireless connection, you can play with other trainers. You can chat, you can trade, you can do all sorts of things. I don't have to talk to the lady because I know what this one is. I used it a lot as, my, as a kid on my DS. This is the Coliseum. The Pokemon Wireless Coliseum, I believe. Location Club Coliseum. You may battle with your friends here. Which battle would you like to play? None. Thank you, though. So... Basically, there's some wireless multiplayer stuff here, but that's not what we want We want to know about. We want to know about what's down here. I'm very sorry. You're working underground right now. It's off limits to the public. Please. This is an aspect that even with a normal DS, I can't cover anymore. As a service for this, as many of you hardcore Pokemon fans know, closed down. Dawn was also making a very valid point about the Pokemon, which I'll go check out now. This one isn't very valid at first, so as a novice trainer, we can only buy Pokeballs, which I'll stock up on five for now. And Dawn will give you, f Dawn will give you five free Pokeballs. But I want to show something here. If you buy, I can't do that anymore. If I haven't lost a berry. I probably could. All right. Well, like Dawn said, we should probably. And there's actually, there's a reason I got all these Pokeballs right off the bat. There's a Pokemon I want to catch out here. Which I think here is a great time to go over the wild Pokemon you can find. Let's hope I run into the first one. Oh. Huh. Well, then we'll get it on our way out. Hang on a sec. 
Baxter! Bastard. Welcome home, Cody. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick rest here. Why did I heal at the Pokemon Center? I forgot this happened. What is it, Cody? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big? Oh, okay, dear. Go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know, Cody. I've got something that you'll find useful. Okay, in the journal. This way we can keep rep record of everything we've done on our journey. That's a journal. It keeps a record of your daily events. Check it and you'll be able to remember what you did last. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, dear. Yep, Co Yep, I'll be right by your... S right, all right by myself. So you go and enjoy your adventure when you're exposed to new things and experience new sensation. Makes your mother happy too. But come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you caught here. Oh, it's Barry's mom. Excuse me, is my little Barry here? Oh? No, he's not. Ah, I didn't turn off my... <sighs> I'm just gonna mute that. Oh, but he must have left already. What to do? That boy should go on it. That boy shouted about going on an adventure, then he bolted. Sounds like Barry. He's so headstrong and reckless. I wanted him to at least take this. Not to worry, Cody will deliver it to him. I will. What you? I guess. I'm, I mean, I'll probably run into him on the way. Obtain the parcel. Bye bye, Cody. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. You know, my boy. Head straight to Jubilife, T Jubilife City. Oh, please take that to my berry. Well, we've got our first destination, Jubilife City. Well, without further ado, let's head to Juba. Up, oh, here we go. First encounter is a Pokemon I wanted to snag. Well, this isn't Coliseum. This is Platinum. We have Bidoof. Bidoof is a very weird Pokemon. Bidoof is mainly used for two things. They actually just one thing. Bidoof is an HM slave, in every term of the word. He really can't do much else other than being an HM slave. I mean, when he evolves, he becomes a water type, which is pretty cool. But that's about it. I'm pulling up my notes right now, guys, if you're actually wondering about Bidoof. Make sure I got all my stuff right. But now we're hitting... I'll bid if you tackle again. You miss, because you suck. Alright. Well, let's see here. I've got five Pokeballs. Let's catch a Bidoof. Don't even start with me, you bucktooth rat. Come on. Okay, fine. I guess i got to weaken it a bit more. Alright, we're at 10 HP. We were weakened pretty bad by a Bidoof. I don't know how to feel about that. Come on, Luffy, I know you're better than this. Once, twice, three times. We caught it! Alright, Bidoof is ours! Bidoof's data was added to the Pokedex. The Plump Mouse Pokemon. A comparison revealed that Bidoof's front teeth grow at the same rate as a Rattata's. Pretty cool. And I'm going to name him just Derp. Just Derp. Why? Because he looks like a Derp! Oh, uh, well, she looks like a Derp. But that's not the Pokemon I actually wanted to catch on this route, which is why I'm kind of bummed that my... That my, um... Chimchar got nicked so badly. Ah, here she... Another one! What is with me and attracting female Pokemon? <laughs> oh, crap. I actually did not mean to do that. Take two. Actually, because I can find them at level three, I actually want to find one at level three. We'll try one more time, and if not, I'll just catch the next one that appears.
Oh, come on! It's another female! Okay, seriously, what is the gender ratio here? Gender ratios are bullshit. Alright. Don't oh, come on! Seriously, it's another female bee doof! What is going on here? Am I the only one noticing that this is weird? Please say I'm not the only one finding this weird. Seriously, the fact being that that, that I found ran into literally two goddamn bidoof. It's incredibly and uh, I ran into two Starly, two Bidoof. The Starly I wanted was too low leveled. No, oh, come on! Okay, you know what? I'm gonna keep a counter on my phone now. That is the fifth female Pokemon I've bumped into. No, guys, I'm pulling up an app on my phone right now to keep a counter. I'm probably gonna have my editor. Probably gonna send this to a vid editor soon. But, freaking, okay. Give me one second. Alright, so we've seen five females so far. One more time. So Starly, there we go. Alright. Well, the counter broke right there. But finally, we ran into another Starly and it's a male. Which is pretty funny. It took me this long, come on! Please don't do this. Please don't kill Luffy. I would like Luffy to stay alive. Use Growl. Use Growl, please. Thank you. See, the Starly wants to be caught by me. Please be caught by me. It took me forever to find you again. Twice. Three times. All right. Starly is my next team member! Starly's data was added to the Pokedex. Starly, the Starling Pokemon! I completely forgot to go over Starly. I forgot to read its Pokedex entry! Now, I'm not gonna nickname this. I'm gonna leave that up to you guys when we find the nicknamer. Comment down below your nicknames! In the meantime, though, it'll just stay Starly. Trying to find my notes. Here we go. So let's go over Starly now, shall we? Starly is a very good physical attacker. Actually, let's let's, let's go to Starly in the Pokedex. Talk about her. Talk about him there. Starly, as you can see, is a very fast physical attacker. And Starly does not have. Starly is a fan favorite Pokemon. With the ability Keen Eye preventing its accuracy from going down, meaning this thing can get some serious... It's not very good in the defensive department, but actually, this one isn't too bad. But, um, when you need a good flying type, Starly is definitely the choice. And I'm gonna use a Starly only because there are also the flying number of Pokemon are limited. There is one I was planning to use, but in all honesty, it would take too long. So, I'm going to avoid that. And just use my start. Just use Starly. <sighs> All right, now let's get over to the. No, come on. Oh, come on! There's freaking female six. That's it. I'm gonna keep a record of every female Pokemon we encounter on our travels. I don't know why now, but it's just. Freaking all the females I've seen so far. That's six females to the to the one male we've seen so far. It's pretty damn crazy. Well, we'll go to the Pokemon Center. We've started wild Pokemon to full health. We'd like to Pokemon. Alright, one, two, three, nah, 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 nah. Alrighty. We hope to see you again. Alright, yes, I hope to see you too. I plan to see you. 
All right, I think honestly though, this is something I meant to do earlier. Let's go over Bidoof in a bit more detail. Bidoof is a normal type Pokemon starting off. However, when Bidoof evolves later on, it'll evolve into the water type B-Barrel. It has, can have one of two abilities, be it simple, which you see here, Pokemon is pr prone to wild stat changes. Meaning, stat change effectiveness is doubled, meaning it will, more often than not, double its stats. Which is pretty cool. And there's Unaware, which ignores the opposing Pokemon stat changes. Meaning, it fit... Meaning, basically, if Bidoof is hit with Growl, the, the, the effectiveness of it is doubled up. Meaning it will lose more attack than anything else. Which, in a way, is not that good. In my eyes, anyway. But it's also pretty good at doing physical attacks and defending. Apparently this one is, anyway. And for some reason, according to my notes, it's pretty speedy. don't quite understand that. I mean, look at it. It's a fucking... fucking... pump mouse. Anyway, well, look who it is. Sockhead. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Derp at the back and leave Starly and Luffy up front. And I think I'm gonna let Luffy handle some of the main battling because I need Luffy to level up. Starly's gonna do jack shit for us. Alright, here we go. Her first Pokemon is, what do you know, a Bidoof. Oh, did you run into a wild male with no problem? Please let her turn creepy female. Aw, oh, I was kind of hoping. I don't know why, but I thought it would be hilarious. But yeah, now he's got to sit through John's tutorial. Freaking. Oh my god. Yes, I already showed them how to catch a Pokemon. I already showed them how to catch a Pokemon. Oh, well, I guess there's something I found I can talk about while we're here waiting for Dawn to finish the tutorial stuff all the way. There is one more Pokemon you can encounter here, but I believe it's only at night? Correct me if I'm wrong, but that Pokemon is Krikatot. Krikatot is a very different Pokemon. Its ability is Shed Skin, which has a 30% chance of healing its own status condition at turn's end. It's an okay attacker, but I wouldn't recommend it. So many good po bug Pokemon are actually in this game, I would recommend more than Krikatai. One in particular, which I was really debating on using on my team or not. See, isn't it neat? Actually, it's better to lower your target's HP a bit more than I did. It's important to get the Pokemon's HP as low as possible. The healthy Pokemon is a very different Pokemon. Oh, Pokemon get a lot easier to catch. Make them sleep or something. Not using a Pokemon move. I'll give you five Pokeballs. So now we're at, I believe, eight. We'll be safe on long trip. Plus it'll work. Two maybe? No, two. So seven. Now there's one more poke. Get on. That you can find. Well, there's another male. Ah, oh, what the fuck. And there's female number seven. Okay, let me see here. We've seen about maybe three wild males. And I've just found... And now I think it's about time, though, while we're talking to this Bidoof and figuring, and I'm totaling out how many females to the male ratio we've seen. There is one more Pokemon out here that I strongly advise you try out once. And that Pokemon is Shinx. Shinx is a new electric type, and possibly one of my favorite Pokemon. Next to another one that will be on my team. That a lot of people are probably guessing in the comments below. Now Shinx is a physical electric attacker. You can have rivalry for an ability, deals more damage to the Pokemon of the same gender, gender. But the ability I'd recommend more is Intimidate, which lowers the opposing that which lowers the opposing Pokemon's stat attack. A 
attack stat. Oopsie, read that note wrong. So I highly recommend getting a Shinx with Intimidate if you can. If not, um... Rival, it's pretty random what you'll get, so never try to bank on it. I'm sorry this isn't, like, more bio-professional, but because of my editing software on my tablet, it's really wonky. Anyway, let's get moving. Oh, Trainer Battle. This is our introduction to Trainer Battles. Basically meaning we will run into wild trainers in the battle, on the field, or in the overworld, and they will challenge us to battle. First up is Youngster Tristan, and he's starting out with the Starly. Sorry, I'm eating M&M's. This is bad. You guys wonder what I mean? This is bad. I mean, Chimchar is like... Not doing good. Mm -hmm. Fuck. What's going on here? Chimchar is supposed to be better than this. Attack all. Trying my best to not let Chimchar go down because he needs experience. There we go, Charlie. Good work. You're level six. Oh, no. Nah. Too strong, too strong. That's right, too strong. Fuck, that took me 22 minutes? Jesus Christ. I didn't over on the wrong side. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm probably going to end the episode off here. Sorry there wasn't much story progression. I was just trying to cover as many as much stuff as I can. About all the Pokemon you can find out here and all, with all the tor tor tutorial stuff. But I think I'm going to call it quits here as I feel like in a way this is a good stopping point. I'm probably going to beat all the trainers off route and probably do some level grinding. Get Luffy and Starly up some levels, as they could really use it. But I think that's where I'm going to end it. Next time on Pokemon Platinum, we will continue our way to Jubilife City. And this time, hopefully get there without taking up too much time. See you guys then.